Welcome to Solid Strings Book One. You are ready to embark on a grand adventure into learning how to make music and learn to play violin, viola, cello, or contrabass. In order to play well, you first need to know your instrument so that when your instructor refers to a part of your instrument, you know exactly what he or she is talking about. We're going to start with the parts of the instrument that every one of our instruments have. I'm going to be referring to the inside cover for the violins, viola, cello, and contrabass for the parts of the actual instrument. We will learn about the bow later into the series when we are working with the bow. All of the instruments have a neck. Take a look at your picture. Point to the neck. All of the instruments have a fingerboard. I bet you can guess what goes on the fingerboard. Your fingers. All of the instruments have a bridge. The bridge connects the top, the peg box of the instrument, down to the tailpiece. All of the instruments have F holes. The F holes are, if you take a look at it and kind of squint a little bit, you could see that they look like the letter F, but very fancy Fs. Inside the instruments, all of them have a sound post. All of the instruments have a peg box and a scroll at the very top. You can see why they call it a scroll. It looks like a scroll of, mu of music or a scroll of paper curled up. On the peg box, we ha at the very bottom of the peg box, attaching that to the fingerboard, it's called the nut. Words that you're going to hear most frequently are the upper bout and lower bout. We also have the ribs, which is on the side, just like on your own body, we have ribs, so does the instrument. We have a tailpiece, and on the tailpiece for the violins, violas, and cellos, we have fine tuners that connect to the strings. Now, the cello and the bass also have an end pin so that the height of the instrument can be adjusted. The contrabass also has a C bout, which is on top of the ribs, and a tuning mechanism that is attached to peg box. And the violin and the viola have a button at the very bottom of the instrument. You can see what, where the button is on the bottom, and it actually attaches instrument to the tailpiece, over the bridge, with the strings all the way up to the peg box. You now know the parts of your instruments, and you're ready to embark on your musical journey. Welcome to becoming solid string players.